Hello, Munagi here, and welcome to the last episode of Delicious Pretty Girl Majong Solitaire. And we're not really doing much here, and I'm not doing a vlog or an update or anything like that. This is more. Oh, hey, hey, Bell. Uh, this is more of a a fashion show. And for some people who actually did their homework, that's you guys' fault. Y'all should have did your homework. Well, right now we're gonna have a, an advanced fashion show of all my girls who were willing me, willing enough to sit here and participate and sit with me and make beautiful puzzles while I give you guys updated and give y'all information on what I'm just trying to do and do and do for my channel and for you guys. So with that said, just to cut directly to the chase, we're going to do a nice little fashion show for all the outfits that we have unlocked for our girls. And we're going to determine with excellent analysis of who has the better outfit overall so we're gonna start with our beautiful girl Rui granted she has our own game if y'all probably do or do not know that she has her own game so I will be looking into that granted I probably will and will not play but you know something to look into curiosity kills the cat am I right so everybody we have and yes since I do know where this outfit comes from now this outfit actually comes from her video game where she's an actual singer and it's more than one girl it's like six of them seven six I don't know but yeah she actually sings and that's actually really good energetic really just up to beat and really up to the point where it's like yeah we, we have a we have a rock star here everybody a celebrity which is awesome but then what does she do after she's done being a celebrity on stage she goes to be herself. She goes hang out, walk in the park, go to the mall, like you people would go to. And try to become one with society outside of her career to show that she's not all about just singing and showing off for you guys. She's human. But then, she might meet one of you people and y'all might want to actually go out on a date with her. And then bam, a beautiful dress beautiful outfit to show off for the beautiful restaurant y'all will go to and have a beautiful time at and granted y'all probably would eat nice food granted me I love seafood and uh, if, she, if she don't like seafood that would be kind of awkward just go to a restaurant she'd be like I don't like seafood Ooh, oh shit <laughs> well it's all seafood here sweetheart so you're gonna starve I gotta do beauty to be still you you're gonna starve <laughs> so then after that, you decide to go visit her her place, and then what do you know? She's a neat freak. She keeps her home, her private, social, and professional life tidy and spick and span. She probably don't even tell her co-workers to clean her dressing room. She would gladly clean her own dressing room and dress herself for her own performance. And that's perfectly fine for me. Like, that, that, that's wonderful. That shows you that she is willing to take initiative. And that's not enough people like that in life. To take initiative. And then lastly, when it's time for the celebrations. Her, obviously her perfect favorite is Halloween. She goes to go cosplay. Who doesn't cosplay? I cosplay. Now, now obviously not often. But I, I gladly cosplay if I have the money. Let alone the, the no, not the know-how. Almost said know-how like I'm an idiot. The, not the know-how. Just the, you know, the... the uh, the theme, and I say theme, as in like people have a festival, like come and cosplay. I was like, yeah, I'd love to go, but yeah, she cosplays, and that's awesome. Granted, I, I I don't know why, but I'm one of the guys who like girls with cat ears. I mean, come on, it, it's cute, it's adorable. I love cats. Go screw yourself. So yes, everybody, that is Rui and all her outfits. Give a round of applause, Rui. Thank you very much. Go have a seat. Now we're introducing the next girl. You know, you know. Obviously, at the front gate, she shows that she is a hard worker. She's obviously a maid. She works hard. Nine out of ten for some rich bloke who's a douchebag, but she works hard. She worked hard as Alfred. Bet money, Alfred is the mentor. She trains and understands that that yes, even though your master or your your boss is a dick, 
he's going through things and he's trying to overcome them. He's not trying to take it out on you per se, but he res probably respects you more than anybody here in this building or any workplace that you work. So then, after her hard day of work and her boss giving her shit, he gives her a day off. And that's where she goes. Get into her nice, beautiful outfit and go out and just have a good time. Go to the park, maybe. And relax. Hear nature calling. Who doesn't like that? Like to hear nature calling? I personally like going to the beach and see the sea. Just just, just stand on the water. Just look at the water. That's me. My, me, me, my personal thing. But then, little you guys know, when I say she's a hard worker, I mean, when you're a maid, you just don't dust. They require you to lift. She goes to the gym, she works out, she gets ripped, she gets the job done. Which, that's actually pretty epic as hell. Like, like just come to your house, you see a woman be like, oh, hey, what's up? And she got like 300 pound boxes in her hand, like with ease. I think that'd be kind of cool and kind of freakish at the same time. Just, hey, holy shit, do you need help? No, I got this. You probably might hurt me if you hugged me. So, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> but other than that, the problem with this outlook, people will probably automatically assume are all that, yes, you're a person who knows how to relax and know how to work, but you don't know how to have fun. Well, don't get it twisted with you know. She knows how to have fun. She can go clubbing. She can go to parties. She can be one with the crowd. And that's what some people would like about her. So that's it, a wonderful, wonderful talent to show that just don't judge her by the book, okay? She, she, you have to open that book first. And then lastly, you get hurt at the party because you got all the drunken idiots around acting a fool. Well, guess what? She has a degree in nursing. Yes, she became a maid. So what? Not everybody follows their major. So ha, she became a she she became a maid, but she has a nursing degree as well, okay? She she can heal you. She can fix everything. Okay, you got you got to understand that. But even even being a nursing part time is difficult, and that's why which I've never been to one. I probably wouldn't be able to go to one because my body would probably melt like butter. But have you ever been to a sauna? That's where she goes after her long day of heart. Just life itself. Got a lot of people go to saunas to just unwind. How long people actually sit in the sauna? It's insane. I, I don't. I, I personally, I probably couldn't sit in the sauna for that long. I'd probably die. I don't even like heat as it is. Now imagine sitting in the sauna. I probably would die. <laughs> Just sit there. Ugh, I'm dead. But yes, thank you, you know. Thank you for your line of outfits, and I hope you all enjoyed her line of outfits. Give her a round of applause, and let's buy on me. Let's keep it moving. Next we have May. Hello, May. How you doing today? Got the long hair. I love it. So, here she has May. She's a little shy, a little shy, which is perfectly fine, okay? We all, there's always that one shy one, the one who likes to be a wallflower, which is perfectly fine, because I was a wallflower myself. I don't like talking to people. I don't like people. People suck. Not you guys, not you guys. You guys are not people. You have identity, an identity. A lot of people don't have an identity. They're just dicks, anyway. But yeah, she, she's, 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 a, she's one with herself in the corner. She knows what she's want to do, but she doesn't really know how to tell that to people. But then, that automatically, <clears throat> automatically make you assume she doesn't have a social life. Well, that's a lie. She has a social life. She works hard, okay? But she does, that doesn't mean she doesn't want to go talk to people and meet new people, experience new things in life, and meet those who might even have as much in common with her as she does with yourself. Okay, you gotta gotta respect that. You have to understand that. And then, not only that, you will realize she works and she works real hard. And as for a shy person, which I know some to do this, she is a waitress. And that's awesome. Cause not only she get to meet new people, she get to understand how people think and how they act. And the best way to do that with people food. Um, I, I can agree there because uh, people get real antsy when they mess up their food. Like, uh, excuse me, sir, my steak is not well done, and they toss the plate at you and hurt your feelings, and you're not allowed to retaliate or you'll lose your job. Yeah, and the only reason why I know these kinds of stories because they're from my mom. She told me the story when she used to work at Dunkin' Donuts, and a lady threw 
Like she sneezed into a napkin, a, a napkin or whatever, and threw it at my mom. And my mom jumped across the table and beat the shit out of her. Uh, yeah, she lost her job. But hey, <laughs> y'all probably do the same thing. I know I probably would. So that's well understandable. That's how you get to meet the true identity of people. And that's what she's doing. She, she's studying. She's not stupid. She's doing this for a reason. That's how you get intel on people. She's, she's smarter than she looks, and that's how they get you. It's usually the quiet ones that get you. And then, yes, after a hard day at work, she herself cosplay as well. As you see, who does not like a rabbit? The, 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 the symbol of all men that pretty much love to see on a regular basis is a happy bunny. And we all love money. Which I won't lie, that's kind of the funniest part about it because I actually like cats. But then I, uh, I, I recently adopted liking the bunny ear look. I always thought the bunny ear look was kind of funny because it was kind of gimmicky, and that's why I was getting into like Bugs Bunny. So that was really funny. That's why I really started liking them. So very well done, man. Very well done. But then after all that, you probably did not realize that she had a hobby. She knows how to cook. That's one thing man loves, is a woman who knows how to cook. You can feed our bellies, we would love you forever. Cause you could probably make some stuff we never would have thought. You probably could make cooking, as well as my grandmother or my mother. And I, I don't have no choice but to love you for life because you cook everything I love about my family. So I can't, you can't leave me. <laughs> like imagine if your, if, your, if your girlfriend made something that only your grandmother know how to make and she makes it perfectly. You'll never leave her. Cause only she can make your favorite food. So that's 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 one of the unique things about May. So with that, everybody, give her a round of applause for her beautiful onset of clothes. Thank you, May. You have a seat with the others. Now we're coming across one of the winners, not winner, like not the winner, but one of the selected ones who was requested by one of the viewers, the one who actually did their homework. Bell. Bell, on the other hand. It's one of the select few who was voted to win, and granted, that puts a vote on her. So sadly, she's already ahead of the game, and that's kind of hard, sad to say, but I have to say, she's ahead of the game. You guys could have saved somebody else to win, but you didn't do your homework, so ha. <laughs> so, Belle, we have Belle here now. Obviously, by first appearance, in my own personal experience, she's a sassy one. She's all sass, she's all drama, and yeah. That, that, and it, it's not the fact that she shows drama just to be a douchebag about it, but it's drama to show that she's not to be messed with. She's kind, but fierce. And that's, that's the type of girl who shows level of dominance, which is also displayed here. You saw her face? She showed that she does not mess when it comes to dominance. And that's how she lured the guys in, wait for it, and then she pounces. And then we're all questioning why men exist and why do we have a manhood. Anyway, let's not get into that. Because that, that was a, a trial of pain and suffering that I probably would never understand in life. I'm just playing with you guys. <laughs> but yeah, so we have our dominant female here. But then, after behind all that dominance, all that sassy, sassy anger. It's not, not anger, not natural anger, but it's sassy anger, where she's just gonna randomly talk shit on you on purpose. But little you guys know, she wants to find that one person who understands that sass. And if you can do that, you can marry her. She wants to stay with that sassy person forever. And that's one of the best characteristics about that. Like, and that's kind of funny when they say opposites attract, and this probably the best correlation to it because on the front it looks like complete hell on earth but then once you look past the hell on earth and actually endure the hell on earth you get the ultimate reward which is actually having her at the same time but then as a reward for yourself for going through all the BS she would treat you to a hot bath which I won't lie it's pretty cool no, I do not know from personal experiences, but I do hear, obviously, from, you know, <clears throat> the higher ups, your family, duh. Uh, it, it's nice to, 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 to receive a bath in the hot water after a strong, hard day of work and just being able to unwind. Like going to a spa and, you, and get a massage and people um, manicure the pedicures and all that. 
That's probably what she got. That, that's probably a secret of her. She probably done all that stuff. And that's how she'll get you. But yeah, so everybody, this is Belle's ensemble. Give her a round of applause. And she is one of the selected few. We will get to the other selected few. Because only two people voted. And that's the irony. I have to be the tiebreaker. Which is even more hilarious. Because I didn't actually want to be the tiebreaker. I just wanted you guys to have fun with this. But since y'all didn't do y'all homework. Oh well. So, with that said, we're going to move on to Huromi. And Huromi, obviously, she's a smart one. But... You know, she's a she's a smart yet dapper one. She's like everybody's best friend. Everybody's best friend. But she's a natural born leader. She has to stay professional at all times. But then when after her work is done of her trying to be president Barack Obama, yeah, she probably would beat him. Mm, she probably wouldn't beat him, but I definitely know she'd probably be Donald Trump at least. She she she'd be one of them. <laughs> but no, then after all the hard work Time to unwind and relax and go kick it with friends, which I won't lie. That's pretty much how I work too. Like at the front, I'm professional, and after all the professionalism is over, this is me. Gotta get, gotta, gotta, gotta have some fun with you guys. Just play, having fun with you guys. But then the irony with that, I am gonna go into working out again because uh, there's stuff I want to do and I want to make sure I'm fit for it. And the funniest part about that, like the one thing I like about Hiromi, if I had to vote for a person, I probably would have picked her, considering the fact that, that she kind of displays myself. And I'm going to use her for example. So I work. I work really hard to get to what I want to achieve. But then after that, I go kick it with friends and relax and just be me. But then this is pretty much me getting in shape and ready for either one of these. And then after all of that, I do have. Fun. I do have fun with some, but granted, I'm not a fun guy. Considering the fact of the matter is that I mean, I don't really go out that often. That's only because there's nothing to really do out there unless people invite me. I kind of see the world as boring a little bit, just to be honest with you. <laughs> just being honest with you. And then lastly, I love to go swimming. I like I like I like the beach. I like to go swimming. So, that's why I kind of like Hiromi, like, all her outfit pretty much displays, like, myself, in a way. So, she probably would have been my vote, but granted, it's not about me, it's about you guys. I'm just going to be the tiebreaker, because you guys can do your homework that I have, I have to reiterate to you guys again. So, thank you, Hiromi, and thank you for allowing me to use you for my example. So, everybody give her a round of applause, and I hope you like her ensemble as well. So, now we're moving on to the other well-placed winner. Now, the person didn't say name, but they said brown hair. She's the only character with brown hair. Legit brown hair. We have Megumi. Megumi, which granted, and I'm not trying to, you know, go off base of look of a parents. I literally thought she was a mom, just to be real honest about it. She has the face of a mother. Like, she, 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 she carries a motherly vibe. Even her clothes speaks mother. A person who looks after you through thick and thin well supposed to and, and that's a good thing I that, that's one of the best thing about this like yes to, to have that level of comfort is really nice and then after that you know like it, it, and that's funny and the funniest part about these two these two right here these two images right here it shows in the morning she's there at night she's there always and that's and that's a good thing you always have that that warmth by your side wherever you go and this is pretty much one of the moments where you would tell your mother what are you wearing where are you going because she likes to party too and that's the <laughs> she likes to show the young lads that she still is young herself which you never supposed to tell your parents that they're old and that's why she had this motherly vibe she wants to be young and she probably is she probably is young but you're not allowed to insinuate that she's old. Just accept that she's young. Forever. That's it. Just accept that she's young. Forever. That's it. That's all you can do. And then lastly, she herself can cook as well. And that's why she's the motherly look. She carried the motherly vibe. Her motherly intentions. Her motherly personality. And not only that, she cooks like one too. And that, everybody, is probably why... She is probably going to be, uh, well, I ain't going to say nothing yet because it's not tiebreaker time yet. So we'll cross that bridge later. So by all means, we're going to let her have her seat, give her a round of applause, and let's keep moving. 
Now we have Letty, which I named her that because I really couldn't pronounce that, and Japanese Spanish uh, saying is uh, flipped. So here we have Letty. Now, as you see by her first ensemble, y'all may not see it, but she's all about the Shakespeare. She's all about plays. She's all about the the natural traditional drama in music. And what the hell is this? Apologies. What the hell is happening to my phone? It's just acting weird. What is that? Oh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. So with that said, she's all about that Shakespeare life. If I had to guess, if she would look like, like a, a Dungeon and Dragon play, she would probably be the main role. Or if anything, thanks to those horns, she might be the villain. Who knows? We should have to be pretty cool. And then, after the play is over, she goes hangs out with her friends. They probably go to play it themselves. That probably would be a natural thing she wants. But not only that, she's looking for someone. Cause it's like Shakespeare. Here she puts on the act, and then she tries to find the love of her life. And then after, she gets married. And once she has had, <clears throat> and once she has had her happy ending, you get to the guy get to choose between. Would you rather have the light side of things or the dark side of things, which is displayed here and here? So you get the light side or her dark side, which is kind of funny because that's really like Romeo and Juliet-ish, where if things would have panned out right, they both would have lived, but they got the dark end and they both died, which is a perfect uh, uh, personification of this. You can either have the bad ending, we both die, or we have the good ending and we both live. So, perfect situation on that. So, thank you, Letty, on your selection of clothes. And everybody, give her a round of applause on her showcase. Next, we have Miyu. Hey, Miyu. Now, Miyu, she's like the little sister who always wears cosplay. <laughs> That's what she is. The little sister who always wears cosplay. Cause have you ever seen like that anime where the girl always like has like a a, a, a personality and a choice of like and not, and not a, it's a choice of accessory that they always wear and they never take it off like for no amount of reason and this would be her like she's the one like this is her cosplay outfit and then after she busts into her maid outfit for cosplaying and then she would go straight into nurse cosplaying her swimming and then just straight up a bikini model, but just straight up all cosplaying. That this is literally her, the little sister who cosplays too much, which is awesome actually. I thought it was pretty funny and pretty cute. Cause like, oh, isn't that adorable? <laughs> and I think that's kind of funny because uh, I do know some people who actually cosplay a lot, and I kind of wonder in my head like, well, I can't talk stuff like the amount of money they put into like buying those clothes to look like those characters. I invest that amount of money and try to get more and more technology, so I'm in the same boat in a sense. But yeah, so that's me, you everybody, and I really hope you enjoy her selection of outfits and ensemble. So give her a round of applause, and let's move on to our last one. Shingen, how you doing? Now she said, now like I said again, they said brown hair, but this is not really brown hair in a way. This is more um, uh, burgundy, like really, really, really dark red, or like uh, like burgundy is really hard to explain. Don't even give me, don't even give me line on colors. I'm not good with colors. So with hair, everybody, this is our girl who's very traditional, very traditional in her art of clothing. And this shows that she has culture. She has a story, a path. A prob she probably have a tree line of family from this tribe who had a fight with this tribe, who were friends with this tribe, who were friends with these. And that shows that she had a lot of history and a lot of personality going into here that really develops who she is. And a lot of times that, that happens to us too. How we grew up and the people we grew up with and the environment that we lived in forms who we are. That plays a lot. But even behind all that, she's still one of us, one of the kids going to school with us, having fun, eating pizza rolls, and just having a good old grand time. And yeah, I mean, that's all of us. But then, not only that, 
like I said, one of us, we work out. She's right there with us working out in the gym, busting the sweat. Got the shoulders rolled up because we about to lift some weights. And that's how we do things. And you kind of notice that this thing that she's carrying, I think, I think that's kind of funny because I think that's a fan, to be honest with you. But like I said, the irony with this, I think that's her signature. Like, it doesn't matter what she becomes, she's had that piece of culture with her. Which is kind of funny because then you notice it's gone here. Which I didn't know it was gone. I thought, by the time I clicked the end, it, I'm like, oh, so it is gone. And that kind of interesting because when I saw the clothing, it's uh, uh, traditional, like this one. A kimono? Am I saying that right? So, with this line of being a traditional, this is probably actually from where she's from. And that's why she doesn't have this anymore. Because this is actually from where she's from. This is probably from somewhere else. And this is from where she's from. She's always keeping where she's from with her. Same goes for this. This is where she's from. And you know that she doesn't have it. So yeah, very it's very good. And it's, she gave us she gives us an actual piece of herself. This is displaying a piece of herself which shows trust. Like everybody, this is what I am. And I want y'all to accept me. Which we do accept you. And then after that, time to go swimming. I mean, why not go swimming? Who does not like swimming? Which I think is kind of weird. I think there are some people who actually don't like swimming. I scratch my head like, how you don't like swimming? Swimming's fun. I don't know how it's not fun. Or at least get a water gun and shoot people. So with that said, everybody, that is everybody's ensemble of clothing. And I hope you all enjoy. So now let's get down to the winner before the video get too goddamn long. So our winners are Belle and Megumi. And quite frankly, I have to be the tiebreaker and going off on whim automatically. The winner of the tiebreaker, I will have to pick between them. We have our sassy yet undercoated girl Belle, and then we have our motherly fit, our motherly role model Megumi. Uh. On a deep note, I think I would choose as a winner to be Belle. I would choose Belle to be the winner. And the only reason why Belle would be the winner, because I think this is life. You have to be a undercoating of hardships, her sassiness. But even though it may seem like we beat this, you get hit with another one. Another line of sassiness, another hard felt round of more BS. But in the end, you get the victory. You do get the victory, even at the loss of a, and I, I put this in war terms, at the loss of a lot of casualties, you still won the war. Fine. And after a heartfelt, a heartfelt war, a hard, very heartfelt war, in end phase, you get a happy ending, in quote. And it may not be as, like, big as you wanted it compared to the big war that you fought but it's still a reward all the same you can't say that you didn't come far so i think bell would be the best choice for our winner of the best girl with the best ensemble you know for representation so with that said everybody i really hope you enjoyed this stupid video for ending video of all this i do have another video which is delicious but it's not this it's something else but I'll get to that point when we get there. So, thank you all for watching, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this. This is the end of Delicious Pretty Girl Majong Solitaire. And I actually had a blast. I actually had a blast playing it. I, 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 I will miss my girls. I will miss them. But they gotta do them, and I gotta do me. So, with that said, everybody, I will see all of you when the next moon rises. Mm -hmm.